Hey, so in my last video, I forgot one thing. If you download Reshade by clicking here, and then you want to use it on, for example, System Shock, the pre-alpha demo. Let's go to the local files and copy this path. If you try it like this and select the game by picking this location and picking this exe file, I'm pretty sure they use Direct 3D 10, 11, or 12, and then just go through the motions and close this and then just start System Shock. You should notice that there is no reshade text informing you of a successful start. Yeah, if I press home, nothing happens. Okay, let's give it a chance. Let's try to load the actual game. All right, here we are. Home, home, nothing. Okay, so let's just Alt F4 out of the game. Well, this is a strange thing about Unreal Engine games. Often the exe file here is just some kind of launcher. In reality, you have to go to where the actual exe file is. It's usually the name of the project, System Reshock, and then in binaries. And then usually Win64. And here you have to find an exe file, which here happens to be System Reshock Reshade, I guess. Ha ha ha. Win64 shipping. So copy this path and install Reshade once more by picking this location and double clicking that exe file. And this time it even auto selects one of these rendering APIs. So just confirm and go through the standards. OK, 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 and close. And now we can even start it through uh, Steam because it doesn't really matter. Hey, look at that. Reshade is there. You see it at the top, right? Con I, I really should start pressing skip tutorial. You know what? Sky should actually be cool here. I just want to see what uh, what can we configure here. Character spacing, okay. How about font size? Yeah, this is cool. Let's skip that though. Color options, what do we have? Black and white and probably neon green. Indeed. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh, this is way too dark though, so let's maybe first make it a bit brighter. Slick, slick, slick. Okay, let's give it some, I don't know, vibrance first. Man, I really wonder, can we... Oh, we can drag and drop them to change the order of things. Cool. So let's play around with curves to make this much brighter. And now ASCII, or ASCII. Right, so we do want ASCII to be at the bottom. And Technicolor also helps. Oh, levels, that's what I want, right? Actually, all I want is Gamma. Where is Gamma? Here. Okay, so I pretty much... <laughs> Overstylized System Shock 2 here. But this is pretty cool, except I cannot read. Let's just compare fighting this robot. Are you done? Versus. Uh, how do I disable them all? Click, 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 click. Home. Versus fighting this guy. Wow, that was quick. Anyways, so yeah, this is you kind of this is the kind of stuff you can get. Man, this demo rocks. Oh hey, you're also alive. Pretty dim with just the Askai filter. So yeah, make sure to combine stuff. Anyways, this is it. This is how you do it with Unreal Engine games. How the heck do I interact with this though? And uh, anyways, I will see you next time. Till then, ciao.